welcome to my channel simple engineering engineering simplified i am neetu rahul today we are going to discuss about transfer function and types of control system so first we can check what is transfer function if you take any system it can be characterized mathematically by transfer function or state model so transfer function means it is the laplace transform of output by laplace transform of input under zero initial condition so transfer function you can represent it as tf which is equal to laplace transform of output output is represented as c of t by laplace transform of input input is represented as r of t so laplace transform of c of t is c of s and laplace transform of r of t is r of s so transfer function is equal to c of s by r of s under zero initial condition so transfer function that is also known as the impulse response of the system so impulse response is represented as ir so ir is equal to laplace inverse of transfer function so transfer function is laplace transform of impulse response let's check one example the impulse response of a system that is given as e power minus t minus e power minus 2t into u of t you have to find the transfer function of this one so transfer function we know that it is laplace transform of output by laplace transform of input so let's move to the solution transfer function is equal to laplace transform of impulse response so impulse response is given that is e of t minus e power minus 2t into u of t so laplace transform of e power minus t minus e power minus 2t which is equal to 1 by s plus 1 minus 1 by s plus 2 that is laplace transform of e power minus t is 1 by s plus 1 and laplace transform of e power minus 2t is 1 by s plus 2 so you, you will get it as 1 by s plus 1 minus 1 by s plus 2 you have to find solve this simplify that so you will get s plus 2 minus s plus 1 by s plus 1 into s plus 2 so s plus 1 into s plus 2 is S square plus s plus two s plus two. That is s square plus three s plus two. And s plus two minus s minus one. If you take this minus inside, you will get minus s minus one. So minus s and this s that will get cancelled. And two minus one that is one. So you will get the answer as one by s square plus three s plus. let's move to another example that is transfer function of the system described by d square y by dt square plus dy by dt which is equal to du by dt plus 2u with u as input and y as output is s plus 2 by s square plus s that is transfer function of a system is given as s plus 2 by s square plus s so d square y by dt square plus dy by dt which is equal to du by dt plus 2u this is given where u is your input and y is the output so let's move to the solution you have to find the laplace transform of this one so d square y by dt square the laplace transform is s square y of s dy by dt laplace transform is s into y of s and du by dt laplace transform is s into u of s plus 2u that is laplace is 2 into u of s here you have y of s as common so that you can take outside so you will get s square plus s here you have u of s common that you can take outside so you will get s plus 2 then the transfer function is given as laplace transform of output by input here output is y and input is s so laplace transform of output is y of s 
and Laplace transform of input is u of s. So y of s by u of s, which is our transfer function, which is equal to, you have to take u of s to this side. So s plus 2 by s square plus s. That is the transfer function. Next, another example. What is the unit impulse response of the system, which is given in figure over here, for t greater than or equal to 0, which is for 1 minus e power minus t. So, here it is given as 1 by s plus 1, then 1 by s, output is c of s and input is r of s. So, transfer function is Laplace transform of output by input, which is here given as c of s by r of s. So, let us move to the solution. That is transfer function is equal to c of s by r of s, which is equal to here 1 by s into s plus 1. So, c of s by r of s is equal to, here you have to take a by s plus b by s plus 1, that equation, partial fraction. So, 1 by s into s plus 1, this one, first we can check for the partial fraction, a by s plus b by s plus 1. So, a into s plus 1 plus b into s by s into s plus 1. So, you have to multiply here a s plus a plus b s by s into s plus 1. If you take or equate s terms, you have a s and b s. So, a s plus b s is equal to, here there is no s terms, so it is equal to 0. So, you will get a s is equal to minus b s. S and s will get cancelled. So, a is equal to minus b. Then if you take constant, here you have a. So, a is equal to, here it is 1. So, you have got a as 1. So, b is equal to minus 1. That you have to substitute over here. So, you will get 1 by s, b is minus 1. So, minus 1 by s plus 1. That is what we got here. Then, you have to find the impulse response, that is unit impulse response. So, impulse response means Laplace transform of your transfer function. Our transfer function is 1 by s minus 1 by s plus 1. You have to find the Laplace inverse. So, Laplace inverse of 1 by s is u of t and Laplace inverse of 1 by s plus 1 is u of t into e power minus t. So, u of t is common that you can take outside. So, u of t into 1 minus e power minus t. And here it is given for the t greater than or equal to 0 and it is for unit impulse response. So, unit impulse response means your impulse response is equal to 1 minus e power minus t for the condition is t greater than or equal to 0. So, this is how you will find the transfer function of a system. Next is classification of control system. So, control system depending upon the control action, it is classified into two types, open loop system and closed loop system. So, first we can check for what is open loop system. So, open loop system means it is a system in which the control action is totally independent of the output of the system. So, you have an input that is your reference input controller. So, reference input is or your input is represented as R of T. It is given to the controller. Output con from the controller is taken as U of T which is given to the process and the final output is the controlled output which is C of T. So, this is the open loop block diagram of open loop control system that is Totally, it is independent of the output of the system. This is input and this is output. So, the disadvantages of this open loop system is that they are inaccurate, unreliable and any change in the output cannot be corrected automatically. That is, there is no, uh, the output is independent. So, we cannot, if there occurs any change, we cannot correct it automatically. Next is, Closed loop control system. So, closed loop control system means it is a system in which control action is dependent on the output. That is called closed loop. Open loop, it is independent and closed loop, it is dependent. 
So you can consider the block diagram of a closed loop system. So you have an input that is your reference input that is given to the here you have an error signal. So R of T is your reference input. Then output is fed back to the input session by using a feedback transducer. So you have a feedback path over here that is the difference between your open loop and closed loop. Closed loop is having a feedback from the output. So this R of T your reference input and the feedback signal that is B of T it is given over here. A comparison is made and that is your E of T. So that is the error signal which is given to the controller. Then controller will send a manipulated signal that is M of T to the system or the plan and finally you will get the controlled output. So a portion of your control output is fed back to the input section. So there is a feedback path. So automation process will take place over here. Your controlled output and the reference input it is compared and an error signal is given to the controller. So we can consider the example for the closed loop control system and automatic electric ion. If you take an ion, Heating elements are controlled by the output temperature of the iron. So for this, our aim or the process is to dry the clothes. So the actual dryness that is fed back as a uh, input to the timer. So here electrical energy is given. The timer, uh, desired time is given depending upon the dryness that is the feedback loop error and the input it will compare and it will whether we have to regulate the heating elements over here. Next is advantages of closed loop control system. So closed loop control system are more accurate even in the presence of non-linearity. Then highly accurate it is because error arising is corrected due to the presence of the feedback signal that is Output is fed back to the input session. So if there occurs any error, that is corrected and we will get a high accurate system. Then bandwidth range is large. It facilitates automation. That is feedback loop is there. So automation purpose is going on. Then the sensitivity of the system may be made small to make system more stable. Next one is system is less affected by the noise. Next is disadvantages. It is costlier. They are complicated to design because we have uh, feedback session, error detection, all these are there. So it is comp complicated to design. It required more maintenance. Then feedback leads to some oscillatory responses will be there. Overall gain is reduced due to the presence of feedback. Then stability is the major problem as more care is needed to design a stable closed loop system. Then difference between open loop and closed loop. Open loop systems are simple and economical. Here it is complex and costly. Open loop system consume less power. Here closed loop system consume more power. Open loop systems are easier to construct because less number of components are required. But in closed loop you have feedback sessions so sensors etc are needed and error detection is there. So it is not easy to construct because more number of components are required. Open loop systems are inaccurate and unreliable, but closed loop systems are accurate and more reliable. So this is about the transfer function as well as the uh, types, different types of control system that is open loop, closed loop, its differences, advantages and disadvantages. Thank you.